up, folks? What are you up to? Watching this? Awesome. Let's just get right into it then. Number five, Marvel Television has a massive lineup of shows headed our way, and they want New York Comic Con attendees to know which ones to keep an eye out for. These four posters are being handed out as we speak for Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Runaways, The Amazing Jessica Jones Season 2, and Freeform's upcoming Cloak and Dagger adaptation. Well, should have gone to New York Comic Con. Number four, if you've always wanted a Game of Thrones MMO game to play on your smartphone, well, you will like this. Game of Thrones Conquest will be released on October 19th and will be free to download via the iOS App Store and Google Play. Developed by Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment's Turbine Studio, the game is based entirely on the HBO show, so it better have dragons. Just saying. Number three, folks interested in VR will want to listen up. Sony has announced that PlayStation VR is getting a model upgrade. However, it's arriving in Japan first before hitting our neck of the woods, aka North America. The VR headset in question will feature several improvements, including integrated headphone cables and a streamlined connection cable. Hey, less cables, less problems. Try telling that to my stream setup. Nope. Number two, Nintendo's mini classic edition consoles are the hottest tamales in video game land right now. However, several IGN staffers and others are reporting quite a lag when it comes to the shipment of their SNES Classic pre-orders. Pre-orders placed back in August haven't been marked shipped yet, leaving some buyers rightfully worried. And then the Amazon treasure trucks have the nerve to roll up in some cities with multiple SNES Classics on hand. <gasps> Amazon did an oopsie. And number one, a PlayStation 4 got a sweet new software update this week, bringing changes to family settings, streaming, and messages oh my. The biggest addition is a new feature called Team Tournaments that lets you compete with other players around the world for prizes. You can even create or join up to 60 teams. For a list of all the changes, check out the link below. And those are your stories that you may have missed this week. Be sure to watch our top five stories airing tomorrow. And since we got our hands on the Star Wars Battlefront 2 beta, check out our video showing off seven minutes of strike gameplay. May the force be with you.